One day, God looked at all the people on earth and saw they were choosing to sin. It was so bad that God was sad that he made people. God wanted people to have a relationship with him. But the people did not want to know and obey God. Noah was different than all of those people because he was a righteous man. Because the world was so sinful, God had to punish the people for their sin. Sin separates people from God because God is holy. To save Noah from this punishment, God instructed him to build an ark of gopher wood. God told Noah how to build the roof, where to put the door, and all the other details he needed to build the ark. God shared with Noah that he would punish sin by sending a flood, and only Noah and his family would live. God established a special covenant with Noah. He would save Noah and his family. God also gave Noah instructions to bring animals into the ark. For most of the animals, Noah brought one male and one female into the ark. God instructed Noah to put every kind of food that Noah's family and the animals would eat on the ark too. Noah obeyed everything God instructed him to do. Next, God told Noah to load all the animals, food, and his family onto the ark because God was going to send rain. It would rain 40 days and 40 nights. This rain would cause a flood that would wipe out everything on earth. After Noah, his family, and the animals entered the ark, God shut them inside. Noah's family was protected as the waters rose and covered the entire earth. The high mountains were completely covered by the water. Everything on dry land died. Only Noah and those in the ark lived. For 150 days, the water completely covered the earth. But God remembered Noah and his family. So he sent a wind and the water began to go away. After another 150 days on the ark, the tops of the mountains were visible. The ark rested on the mountains of Ararat. After 40 days, Noah opened the ark's windows and sent out a raven. The raven flew back and forth until the waters dried up. So Noah sent out a dove, but the dove could not find a place to rest. So she returned to the ark. After seven more days, Noah sent the dove out again, but this time she returned with an olive leaf. Noah knew that the water had gone down from the lower areas of land. After another week, Noah sent the dove out, and this time she did not return. Noah opened the ark and saw that the ground was dry. When the ground was dry, God told Noah to bring everyone and every animal out of the ark. Noah built an altar and gave an offering to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's offering and promised Noah that he would never completely flood the earth again. God told Noah and his family to spread out over the earth and fill it with people. God gave Noah a special sign of the covenant he made with him. God placed a rainbow in the sky. So every time Noah and his family saw the rainbow, it was a reminder that God remembered the covenant he made. The covenant was an everlasting covenant that God would always keep. The story of the flood shows us how serious God is about sin. He will not leave sin unpunished. But the story of Noah also shows us how loving God is. He provided a rescue plan for one righteous man, Noah. And the rescue was extended to Noah's family. This story points ahead to a greater rescue, Jesus, 
the only perfectly righteous person, came to take the punishment for sin. We trust his act of obedience and, like Noah and his family, we are saved from the punishment our sin deserves.